Hi everyone! I am here today with what has taken me a surprisingly long time to film, an eye look that I have been doing probably since I was 16. Um, basically half my life. It's been my go-to look. I wear it on the daily and I've taught it to some of my friends. It's inspired by um, it, the actress Donna Mills when she was in Knott's Landing and no, I didn't watch that show, um, but my mom did. And then she taught it to me and I'd be as subtle as you want or as dramatic as you want. Fantastic with any type of monochromatic color scheme. You can do it with purples, you can, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, you can do it with browns or um, smoky grays or greens or blues. It looks beautiful no matter what. And all you have to have are three eyeshadows in the same color family. A light, a medium, and a dark. So we'll go ahead and get started here. I am using the Wet n Wild Floral Values Palette. The first thing I'm going to do is I am priming my eyes using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next I am going to put down a white base so that my eye, eye colors will pop. Um, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. To set that base, I am going to be using this beige color. Um, it was labeled base, I think, in this palette. Next, on an eyeshadow C brush, the lightest color in the palette. It was labeled brow bone, um, but it's just a very, very light purple. I'm going to put that all over the lid. I'm going to come back and build that color up a little bit later in the center. But for now I'm just laying it down as um, the first color and it'll help blend the inner and outer corners. And I'm just bringing it right up to the crease. Next I'm going into this uh, medium toned purple and it was labeled Define. Uh, I think, or definer, um, on that same eyeshadow C brush. And I'm just pressing that lightly on the very inner corner. And again, this look is so easy. I had, you know, no skill whatsoever with makeup when I was 16. So, I mean, if I could do it back then, literally anybody could do this look now. I'm going back into that uh, really light purple. And I'm going to, on that same brush, I'm going to use that to transition from the light to the medium. And just kind of blend those two together a little bit on the edge. On a stiffer contour brush, I'm going into that uh, darkest color. It's labeled the crease color. It's got a little bit of sparkle to it. And I'm going on the very outside. And this color has a lot of fallout to it, so I'm going to take my time and build it up to avoid as much as I can falling onto my cheeks. Very outside and sweeping whatever's on the brush left up into the crease. Next on a um, pointed crease brush, I'm going in and it's clean. It's a clean brush. I don't have any product on there. Um, but I'm just blending out a little bit uh, that darkest color using circular motions. I want to keep the color that is on the lid very bold and bright uh, and fade out the color that is in the crease to keep it more modern. And 
And while I am using all matte shades today, uh, you could easily get away with adding a shimmer or a satin. Creme Brulee, it's from Wet n Wild. It's um, more of a matte vanilla. I'll highlight my under my eyebrow and also kind of fade the edges of that uh, crease color. I am going to bring just a little bit of that just purple under my um, lash line on the bottom. A uh, little black dress. And do a quick wing. Perfect, but good enough for the guys I go with. They're on. And I seriously hate this mascara. It was a sample. Um, it's from Well People. I don't know. Expressionist mascara. Uh, it's fantastic if you're looking for separation and length. We're looking for separation. I'm looking for the opposite. I'm looking for clumps. I'm looking for volume. I don't like having to put five coats on to get the volume I'm after. So, after this sample runs out, I will not be buying this. But, if mascara doesn't do what I want in a mascara. Oh my word. Goodness gracious. The brush is really cool. It's flexible, so it helps you get pretty close to the uh, lash line as well. I wonder if they have a volumizing mascara. Mascara can be built up to get good results. It's just, I don't have time to do this in the morning when I'm trying to get ready for work. I gotta be out the door by 7.20. My YBF brow pencil in Universal Taupe. So there you go. It's my super easy standby eye look. Uh, it's great for any color scheme and any occasion. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. 